Alright guys, so we're going to watch the entire match and then we're going to come back and start picking apart, looking at all the, the details of the match. Stop it right there. And let's back it up a little bit. So if you let it play. And as they're hand fighting here. Okay, stop it right there. So a couple things. Um, so you see Lorna has the uh, wrist control, so she's got a good uh, grip here. But notice how she has her elbow way up high. So it's um, well above the shoulder. So what that's doing is opening up all this space for her opponent to either tack the leg, to body lock. Um, the opponent has nice inside control where she's going, uh, lacing her arm in and grabbing right on the bicep, kind of hugging the shoulder right here. So she's in a good position. So what Laura needs to do is get that elbow back in and try to work for her inside control. Okay, but she's got a good grip on the wrist, and uh, but what she needs to do is back up, circle to the left a little bit, and kind of close that space. Go ahead. Okay, stop right there. So now her opponent got a nice underhook here, and you see how uh, Lauren's got a grip across the neck. She's going a little bit too deep. So when you go across like that, again, it brings the elbow up, and makes it easy for opponent to come in for the body lock. So if um, you know if she gets the the elbow down and brings it in front of the shoulder, she's going to block any kind of attack here. So. Just in general, when you're on your feet, you don't want your elbows out, okay? You always want to be coming in, elbows in the inside, and then it's going to be much easier to get the inside control and a much better defensive position. Go ahead. Okay, let's stop it right there. So you notice how she got the... Uh, collar tie, underhook, she snapped down the head, she had good control, and there's a lot of things you can do to counter that, but one of them is to pull guard, which she did um, pretty effectively here. 
The one thing you have to watch out for when that happens is you're still susceptible to the guillotine. But one of the things that Lauren does is she swims that arm in for the underhook. If you just let it play a little bit more and stop right there. So you see that arm come in and feed across the back. So that's going to help uh, stop any kind of uh, guillotine choke. She just flares her elbow, elbow out a little bit. Um, she's going to be in much better shape here. So let it go a little bit more. Okay, let's stop it right there. Okay, so Lauren's kind of attempting a lockdown here. She doesn't have a really good grip on that ankle, so it's hard to extend the leg and get to her side. So one of the things that she could do is, with this elbow, see how the hand is on the back here? She wants to try to get that hand to the other side of her body, to get on the other, the far lat right here. So the deeper you can get that uh, grip, the harder it is to control that arm. So with either the whizzer or getting an underhook and, and uh, getting more control here. So in general, when you're in that position, you want uh, the elbow going as close to the spine as you can. So whether you bring the uh, arm up high, around the waist, or even around the leg, you want to get it, that elbow as deep as you can. So keep going. Again, she's having trouble extending that out. Now, there's a little bit of space here, so stop right there. So, see again, that elbow is bent. So, um, it's hard to stay tight to the person when the elbow is bent. When it's going across, if they come up, you're going to come up there with them. Okay, so her opponent can either maintain control with that, um, that wizard here, and or can swim in with that arm. So there's too much space um, to, to do much from right here. But she could take advantage of that, um, you know, dropping down, going for a single leg, and let it play a little bit more. And then stop right here. So as soon as she dropped down, her opponent had her knees together here. So a couple things she could have done. One is to lock your ankles, to pinch their knees together, so you're locking around the back of the knees. Um, the other thing is to sit up and wrap around the knees and pinching them together, and then figure four at the ankles, and then you can take them back for a sweep. So whenever someone has their legs together like that, you always want to take advantage of that. Okay, but. Here, uh, Lauren's doing a good job controlling the ankles here, and she's able to almost get the sweep from this point. Go ahead. So she kicks her forward, controls the ankle, and now she's back in the guard. So she's got some head control, and now her opponent works back up here. Okay, stop it right there. So now her opponent has um, good posture here. She's got her arms back, which uh, gives Lauren an opportunity to come up and try to go to her. So you can go for bump sweeps and um, you can reach up and control the head. But um, her opponent needs to swim those arms in, keeping her hands in front, keeping her flat. So, Always take advantage of that position by coming up into your opponent. So keep on going. And now here she sets up the triangle. So back up a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more. So one of the things you have to watch out for is when your guard is open like that, especially no gi, it's easy to slide back into an ankle lock. So uh, a good idea is to keep that guard closed as much as you can. Um, or again, control the head, try to keep them closed. So the really smart move here by Lauren is to control the wrist. She goes for a spider guard position. So she 
has control of, with her left hand, she's got a control of her wrist, and she's kind of hunting for that, um, her opponent's left wrist with her right hand. So once she's able to do that, she takes her right foot, puts it on the bicep, and extends it out, and then off balances her, which is really important. And then as soon as uh, she's able to do that, she clamps down and bites hard down with that right leg. So let it play a little bit. So she pushes right here, off balances, and then snaps down really hard. Now stop right there. So she has good control of the head. She's grabbing the, the shin here. And then what she's going to do is grab that leg. So that's really important because... When she hooks here, it makes it uh, really difficult to fight because you can't um, uh, drop down to your knees, get your head up. You're pretty much stuck in that position. So uh, one of the best things you can do when your opponent stands up to their feet and you're securing that uh, triangle from the ground. So watch this. So she hooks and then makes the triangle even stronger and her opponent taps right away. So, uh, really good match, a lot of details, there's only a minute and 26 seconds, but, you know, a lot going on there in a uh, little bit of time. So, um, send in your matches, we're going to do more match analysis um, as we go on here during our break, so um, send in what you can, and right now we're kind of on the low technology side. Um, so we might be bumping that up here in the, in the near future, but keep the, the matches coming in.